Hello my dear students we are discussing about number relations in the last classes today let us discuss about a new topic okay so let's discuss about sums and differences in today's class okay you can see in your textbook atulya often teases her classmates with her new discoveries what is atulya's discovery she is saying to her friends that to think of any two numbers and give me their sum and differences then atulya will tell the numbers this is the game she is playing okay what is so she is saying that think of any two numbers and give me their sum and differences okay so you can see uh, one student is saying sum is 10 and difference is 2 okay sum is 10 so we will write here sum is 10 sum is 10 and the difference is 2 difference is 2 so this is a number uh, said by a friend called Rahim okay then Atulia is saying she got the numbers the numbers are 6 and 4 6 and 4 let us check whether this is correct okay so sum is 10 that means 6 plus 4 is 10 that is correct and difference is 2 that means 6 minus 4 is 2 that is also correct so the numbers are 6 and 4 atulya is right now you may be thinking that how do we find two numbers using their sum and difference now let us find that trick okay for these numbers suppose let's take the numbers x and y okay so we are going to take x x x as 6 and y as 4 okay it trick enganana nammal nokkan povana endha thannirikkunnathu adulya cheyyunnathu summum difference um parayan parayum ennitte edakka numbers aanu avaru manasil karuthirikkunnu ennu adulya parayum so this was the game so we are, we are going to find the trick used by adulya for playing this game okay so for that let us assume that 6 is x and 4 is y two numbers are x and y then the sum will be x plus y and the difference will be x minus y okay for this x should be the largest number okay we are going to find x and y to find x from x plus y, we need only subtract y. What does that mean? x plus y minus y, we will get x. Right? We will get sum y minus x. Right? But we don't know y. We don't know y. So we are going to add x again. Okay. So I'm going to add x again to this number. That means x plus y minus y. And I'm going to add x to it. Okay. That is equal to x plus x 2x. Y minus y 0. So I got 2x as the answer here look first we subtracted y and then we added x right instead of that we can add x first and then minus y that will be same so we can write this as x plus y okay plus x minus y both are same isn't it x plus y instead of 
subtracting y first i added x and then subtracted y so that will be equal to the same answer 2x right now look here this one we understood that adding sum and differences gives twice the larger number idana nammade sum and this is our difference so adding the sum and difference we are getting twice the larger number we took here x as larger number okay so twice the larger number so in this example 6 and 4 we can say that 6 plus 4 that is x plus y x is 6 and y is 4 so 6 plus 4 plus 6 minus 4 6 minus 4 equal to 2 into 6 we can check whether it is correct or not 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 6 minus 4 is 2 which is equal to 12 so we are getting 12 equal to 12 both left hand and right hand are same right so we can find any number like this so this is our equation or atulya is using this trick to find the numbers now let us say sum of two numbers is 16 and difference is 5 we want to find the numbers okay so we will use this trick so this is our we don't know which is x and y we don't know x and y we don't know that right so we know that x plus y is 16 that is sum is 16 so sum 16 x plus y is 16 plus the difference is 5 x minus y is the difference so difference is y 5 which is equal to 2x this we know right sum is 16 x plus y x minus y is the difference that is 5 and if we put this into the equation 16 plus 5 equal to 2x so 16 plus 5 is 21 okay 21 is equal to 2x now we can find x equal to 21 divided by 2 which is equal to 10.5 10.5 so we got the number x now we can find y easily let us substitute this x in this equation so x plus y equal to we know that this is the sum that is 16 okay our x is 10.5 10.5 plus y we don't know which is equal to 16 so y equal to 16 minus 10.5 equal to 5.5 equal to 5.5 so we got y and we got x so the we will say the numbers are 10.5 and 5.5 let us do one more example okay suppose the sum is 12 and difference is 8 okay we want to find the number how will we find we will substitute this in this equation so sum is 12 that means x plus y is the sum so 12 plus x minus y is the difference that is 8 equal to 2x okay so 12 per, 12 plus 8 is 20 equal to 2x so x will be 20 by 2 equal to 10 so we got the x now we want to find y we will substitute x in this equation x plus y is equal to 12 the sum is 12 we know what is x that is 10 plus y we don't know then 
equal to 12. So y equal to 12 minus 10 which is equal to 2. 2. 12 minus 10 is 2. So we got y and we got x. We got y and we got x. So the numbers are x equal to 10 and y equal to 2. Right? That was simple. Right? Now let us discuss addition and multiplication related to number relations. Okay? So uh, you already know that in the previous classes we studied twice a number added to thrice the number gives five times the number. What does that mean? 2x plus 3x equal to 5x. Isn't it? We already read that 2x or twice a number, twice a number plus thrice the number equal to 5 times the number. We already know this. This is the algebraic form of that statement for every number for every number x we want to uh, specify this also right this is valid for every number x x say the number e algebraic expression correct suppose my x equal to 4 okay I am going to substitute 4 in this that means 2 into 4 x is 4 plus 3 into 4 equal to 5 into 4. Is this correct? 2 into 4 is 8 plus 3 into 4 is 12 which is equal to 5 into 4 is 20. Is this correct? 12 plus 8 is 20 right? So this equation is Correct. Now let us do one activity related to this. Okay. In a math conference, two rooms are used for discussion. Okay. There are two rooms. There are two rooms in which uh, in the first room, okay, in the first room, there are 40 people and in the second room, there are 35 people. Okay. And at the tea time, each is to be given two biscuits. That means for each person, two biscuits should be given. So the question is, how many biscuits are needed? How many biscuits are needed? That is the question. So how will we find? We can find like this. There are 40 people in first room. So 40 into 2. We should give two biscuits to each person. So 40 into 2 which is equal to 8. In the second room there are 35 people. So 35 into 2 that is equal to 70. That is equal to 70. So now total biscuits we can find like this 80 plus 70. Total there should be 150 biscuits. Right. Can you think this in any other way? Which is that way? First of all, we can count the total number of people participated in that conference. That means 40 people in first room and 35 people in second room. So we will first count total number of people. Okay, that means 40 plus 35. There are 75 people in total 75 people in total now let us calculate the number of biscuits needed that is for 75 people we should give this much biscuits each person should get two biscuits so 75 into 2 which is equal to 150 this is the second way. We got the same answer in the first way also. So we can find the answer of this question in two ways. Right? What do we see here? That is instead of multiplying 2 by 40 
and 35 by 2 separately and then adding both instead of that we need only multiply their sum multiply their sum by 2 right nalpadine rendu kondu multiply cheyunu vere 35 neyum rendu kondu multiply cheyunu adinu pagaram namukku sum kandittu adine rendu kondu multiply cheyidal madi separately ingane cheyunadinu pagaram total add cheyidittu multiply cheyidalum namukku answer kittu this can be done in the case of multiplication by fraction also that means for example if we want to add half of 4 and half of 6 that means half of 4 is 2 and half of 6 is 3 that is equal to 5 that is equal to 5 if we want to add half of 4 and half of 6 we are getting the answer 5 instead of adding like this we can do first we will add these two numbers that is 6 plus 4 which is equal to 10 then we will find the half of 10 which is equal to 5 okay Apo, adhyam, 4 and a half and we need 6 and a half and we need add the number of numbers and we need to add the number of numbers. So this is equal in the case of multiplication by fractions also. So our finding is multiplying two numbers by a number separately and adding give the same result as multiplying their sum by the number so now we got the equation in algebra okay x z plus y z equal to x plus y into z for all numbers x y z so this is our equation okay that is x z plus y z number and numbers in the multiply chai that add chain in a pagaram or and numbers add chai that multiply by the common number i'm gonna chai that um madi okay so let us just check whether this is correct or not so uh, my x equal to 2, y equal to 3, y equal to 3 and z equal to 4. Suppose these are my x, y and uh, z. Okay, x, y and z. Now I am going to substitute these numbers in this equation. And after that I will substitute these numbers in this equation. If both result or the uh, answer is getting same in both case then this equation is correct right so first i will substitute in this that means 2 into x is 2 2 into z is 4 plus y is 3 3 into z is again 4 which is equal to 2 into 4 8 plus 3 into 4 12 equal to 20 so i am getting answer 20 in the left hand side now let us check here the equation is x plus y into z equal to that is x is 2 plus y is 3 into z is 4 let us check what is the answer of this 2 plus 3 is 5 into 4 equal to 20 so in both case i am getting the answer 20 so this equation is right for all numbers x y z now what about subtractions 
For subtraction also, multiplying two numbers by a number separately and subtracting give the same result as multiplying their difference by the number. In algebra, we can write this as xz minus yz equal to x minus y into z for all numbers x, y and z. So in the case of subtraction, this is the equation. Okay, xz minus yz equal to x minus y into z. If you are giving some numbers for x, y and z, like we did in previous, you can see the answer will be same in the left hand side and right hand side. So this equation is also true for all numbers x, y, z. Now let us do some problems related to these algebraic expressions. Now we want to find the answer of this question. Okay, 63 into 12 plus 37 into 12. Here it is plus. So we want to use the algebraic expression that we studied first. That is z plus y z equal to x plus y into z. This is the equation we studied in the case of addition, right? So here 63 into 12 plus 37 into 12. No need to multiply this and after that multiplying this and adding instead of that we know that x plus y into z is correct. So that means here what is the common? 12 is the common that is z okay z here you can see in the both case the z is common so likewise you can write x and y this is x this is y so 63 plus 37 into 12 so z is common that here in this equation 12 is common you will write it here okay so first of all you will add these two numbers 63 plus 37 what is the answer 100 100 into 12 equal to 1200 so we can find the answer of this question simply like this okay aruvathi moonum pandrandum aadi multiply cheyidu adinte kude 37 into 12 multiply cheyidite add cheyunadinekkal easy aanu namukku 12 that is common itala number for 63 plus 37 add j another okay now let us do this activity here you can see the sign is minus so we will use the equation xz minus yz equal to x minus y into z we will use this equation right so here x is 13.5 okay y is 3.5 and z which is common is 40 so we will write this as 13.5 x is 13.5 minus 3.5 y is 3.5 into 40 so this is this will be the equation so 13 minus 5 my uh, 13.5 minus 3.5 is 10 into 40 equal to 400 this will be the answer now my dear students you are having some problems in your textbook you can do that okay we'll see at the discussion time thank you so much